This is an overview of the basics for the AP Synthesis Essay. This should kind of tell you a, a general idea of what that Synthesis Essay is all about and some of the key features. Here's what you need to remember about the AP Synthesis Essay. Just like with any good piece of AP writing, you need to have a clear thesis statement. If you don't remember um, what we talked about thesis statements, you should look through um, these video lessons. There's another video lesson specifically about thesis statements, and that's a good thing to review. But that thesis statement needs to be clear, it needs to be specific, and sometimes even borrow words from the actual prompt so that you make sure that you're clearly answering the question. And I apologize for the disturbing picture there. I don't know what's going on. The next key for the AP Synthesis Essay that you need to remember is that you must use at least three different sources. So when you look at the prompt for the AP Synthesis Essay, it will have a starting page like this. Let me scroll over to it here. And that starting page will have the prompt along with some background information. But um, one of the keys is to use at least three and no more than four of the provided sources to back up your argument. So for instance, we can look at this sample here. This would be the first source, source A. If you choose a quote from there to use as evidence, that would count as using one source. If you chose three quotes from this article to use as evidence, it would still count as only using one source. So the idea is that you would read through these sources, and the first time you read through them, you'd be looking for quotes and for parts of that source that you can use as evidence for your argument. And that by the time that you, you finished reading through, all of the provided sources, the, there's usually about seven sources, that you would have found at least three and no more than four of the different sources that had things that you could use in those sources as evidence in your essay. You would use a visual like this by describing it. That counts as using that as a source. But the key is to use the different sources. So use at least three different sources in your timed writing, in your essay, and do not use more than four sources. Those are rules that you need to remember when you do the AP Synthesis Essay. So each time you use a source, you will, more, you're, you will more than likely quote that source. You might paraphrase the source, that means reword it, and if you just reword it or paraphrase it, you still need to do your citation. But what you're looking to do is when you quote from those different sources, it should look like this. They need, the quote needs to be correctly introduced with an introductory phrase, needs to be correctly punctuated, and then most importantly, you need to make sure you have internal parenthetical citation at the end of your quotes. And you can either use source B or the last name of the author. You can use the, the letter label of the source or the last name of the author to do that. For more details on how to do this, remember go back to our um, lesson video on the rules for using quotations and it's called the using quotes lesson video. That would be really helpful. But just a quick review, remember you got, need to have an introductory phrase, something like this, Johnson explains, comma, then put your quotation in and at the end of that quotation you need to put in your source citation. You can either do the uh, letter label of the source or if you prefer you can use the author's last name but every quote needs to look something like this and like I said each time you quote or paraphrase a source you must use internal parenthetical citations that is a key to this type of AP essay if you don't do this you will not pass that essay Another great thing to do in this type of writing in the, in the synthesis essay is to address the counter argument. Um, you can quote or paraphrase a source that goes against your position and explain why the opposing argument is weak or wrong. And that is one of the things that the AP graders really like. They look for that. That shows a certain level of intelligence and sophistication in your writing. So if you're able to, um, along with using three to four sources, have one of those um, 
be the counter argument and you're able to explain why that is wrong and break that down that's a great strategy strategy to use in your writing the other key is that each time you use a source you need to take the time to explain and connect your ideas in quotes you've got to think about your reader and connect the dots for your reader if you take a little bit of time to watch our other video lesson on explaining in the synthesis essay it'll get into more detail about how to do that if you don't remember how to do that finally the last thing you need to focus on and really the point of the whole test is after you've got all that other stuff down you need to make sure that you show off your writing and language skills remember this is a test over how you communicate do you have the writing and language skills to be successful on the college level today that does it for our quick review of the AP Synthesis essay. That covers the basics. If you need some more info, check out some of the other lesson videos having to do with the Synthesis essay.